So child's pose, hips come to the heels, the forehead comes down to the mat. You have the option to keep your camera on if you would like. Just a little bit of extra TLC, some verbal adjustments. And as we settle in to child's pose, know that this is a place you can come back to time and time again during your practice. I will um, put the Spotify profile in the chat again if you'd like to do some music. I will be muting you. Good. And... As always, as we journey through the breath, feel free to breathe deeply, feel fully. All the breaths are welcome. A sigh, a hum. A flutter of the lips. Just to release any tension or stress. You can draw your arms all the way forward. Let your elbows just rest on the mat. If for any reason you can't reach your arms forward, you could always bring your hands back by your hips, palms face up. You might want to try that, Claire, just see how that feels, yeah. And then roll the forehead, a little right, a little left. Let the shoulders soften. And take a few breaths into the moment, perhaps draw in a little intention. There might even be just a moment of grace, what brought you here today? And with all of that, just gently, gently start to walk your hands forward, tent up on the fingertips, let the forearms lift up, stretch along the back body, the wrists, underneath your arms, the armpits, along the back body, hips to heels. And then drain the lungs. Take it a lovely deep full inhale. Catch it at the top, hold it. Exhale, H-A. <sighs> On your next inhale, try, start to draw yourself all the way up to all fours. And as you come up onto all fours, curl your toes under, draw your hips up high. Move into your downward facing dog. And as you move into downward facing dog, begin to pedal your feet. Then one knee, then the other. Nod your head. You can bring a generous bend into the knees. There we go. Nod your head. Flutter the lips. Start to look in between your hands. Check that your hands are shoulder width distance. The thumbs face one another, the index finger forward. Good. Then tuck the chin to lengthen the spine. Good. Wendy, look at your hands. Just draw your thumbs a little more in towards one another, almost like they mirror one another. That's it. Press the mat away. Tuck the chin. Crease the knees. Pull the length out of the spine. And then start to gently draw the heels down. Heels may never touch down. If they do touch down, Intermittently checking by bringing a micro bend into your knees to lengthen your spine. Let's empty, empty lungs. Taking a lovely deep, full inhale, fullest breath, deepest breath. And exhale, H-A. <sighs> On your next inhale, float and reach the right leg long. Find some extension and length. Press the heel to the back of the mat, square the hips off, draw the right hip down a tiny bit more. That's it, Sylvie, lengthen long. And then exhale, let the hip roll open. Breathe in along the right side body, a big body yawn. Feel free to express your breath here, maybe rolling the knee, spreading the toes wide. Even fluttering the lips, beautiful, Kate. On your next inhale, float and reach the right leg long. Lengthen, extend, lift the leg up as high as you can. And exhale, float the toes back to the mat. On your inhale, reach, lengthen, left leg long. Find extension, flex the foot. Good, one more big stretch, that's it, Jess. And exhale, let the hip roll open. Left and right side can feel so different. 
Beautiful. Maybe work on the knee, big circles through the knee, the ankle. That's it, Dustin. Nice, Adele. Beautiful, Anna. Minar. Inhale, float and reach. Left leg long. See if you can square your hips off again. Good. Lengthen. Inhale. Stretch the leg up as high as you can. And exhale. Sweetly bring the left foot down to the mat. Soften your knees. Relax your neck. Look in between your hands. Take a few steps forward. So as you greet your forward fold, let the head hang heavy. Good. Micro bend the knees a little bit. Yeah. Big, beautiful breath. Can be static here. Some sway a little right and left. Find a little swag and sway. Who doesn't like to bring a little swag into their movement? Good. Nice, Corinne. Everybody bring a generous bend into the knees and just let your head hang heavy and then draw the sit points up a little bit more. Good. If you're holding your elbows release, measure two fists in between your feet in the center of your arches. Check that your index toe faces forward, neutral feet. From here, hands to shins or thighs, halfway lift, chin away, back flattens, crown of head forward. Keep the face parallel to the mat, crown of head reaching forward. Take one more inhale to expand the spine and lengthen, and exhale, release. On your next inhale, float and reach the arms all the way up towards the sky. And reach long. Keep the arms up. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Quinn. Arms rising up. Feel the side bodies enliven. Turn the pinkies in towards one another. Thumbs out slightly to roll the shoulder heads back and down. Take a few breaths here. Beautiful. Navel drawn in. Feel the energy glide up from the soles of your feet all the way up through your entire body until the energy comes out through the crown of your head, your fingertips as well. Embody two more breaths. Breathe deeply, feel fully. Inhaling, exhaling. And we'll drain the lungs. Taking a lovely full inhale. Reach your arms all the way up, slightly back. Squeeze the glutes and exhale, fold forward. So try that two more times. Inhale, rise up, reach up, reach back. Exhale, fold forward. One more time. As you rise up, it may be a little more back than up. Let the back bends fall to you. Don't force anything. And exhale, fold forward. Looks beautiful. Inhale, find your half lift. Chin away back, flatten, send the heart out. And exhale, release. Hands down, step your feet back, pause in upper push up plank. So in your upper push up plank, breathe here. Crown of head forward, heels over toes. Breath is full. Feel powerful, capable, able. Yeah, push yourself forward and back on your toes. Notice how strong your toes are. We have control here. Use a little of the idea of controlology. Yeah, using your body weight, using your power. And now let's connect. Connect to the heat rising in the solar plexus. Feel it emanate out from the solar plexus. Crown of head forward. Hands underneath shoulders, find the scaffolding, that's it. Heels over toes. Inhale, draw the heart slightly forward, lift up. Exhale, lower halfway. Tuck the elbows, flip the toes. Press the mat away, lift up, up dog. Press your feet down, heart up. And exhale, ha, down dog. Beautiful. Empty, empty lungs. Taking another inhale, full, full, full breath. Exhale, HM. Mm. These powerful breaths, use them. On your next inhale, float and reach the right leg long. Find some extension, lengthen the leg. Exhale, knee to the nose. Step your foot all the way in between your thumbs, please. Toes in line with fingertips. Dial the back heel down, back foot at a 45 degree angle. Inhale, both arms up. Warrior one. So as the arms come up, spread your fingers wide. 
The arms are about shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider or narrower, depending on how your shoulders feel. Yeah. Sit nice and low in the lunge. So bend the front leg, commit to the front lunge, but support with the back leg. Squeeze outer edge of back foot into the mat. Draw left hip, left rib forward, right hip back. Close the eyes, release the visual for just at least one breath if it's possible. If not, still your gaze. Nice, sit a little lower in the lunge, just a little bit, Lauren. Yeah, that's it. And inhale, reach up, reach back. Exhale, both hands down. Step your right foot back, upper push-up plank, and breathe your way through. Upper push-up, halfway down, lower push-up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, H-A, high down dog. My favorite vibrational exhale is into down dog. It's so liberating. On your next inhale, float and reach the left leg long. Find some extension, lengthen, lengthen, and exhale, knee towards your nose, round your spine, step your foot all the way in between your hands, peel the back heel down, feel the back foot 45 degrees, inhale, both arms up, rise up, warrior one, left side. So notice, if you will, left and right side can feel so different, that's it. As you draw your right hip forward, you can always step your back foot out a little bit, Anna, just like a smidge out to the right. Good, and then right hip, right rib forward, left hip back. Keep the knee directly over the ankle, if you will. Sit a little lower in the seat with power. Nice, Marina. Beautiful breath. Feel the breath in the body. Spread the fingers wide. Straighten the back leg a little bit more if you can, Jessica. Feel the foot. There we go. Sit low, drain the lungs. Inhale, reach up, reach back. Exhale, hands down. Step your foot back. Flow, high to low, up to down. One breath, one movement through the flow and continue on. Right to left, warrior one, warrior two. Use vibrational breaths to help you release. We'll do plenty of gathered ones, but see if you can get comfortable breathing on your own. Have some freedom there. The possibility. And as you move through, inhale into your warrior one, exhale, the hands come down, step your foot back and flow. Beautiful, Hannah. Nice idea and keep moving. Good, Diane. So we begin to design the practice. Coming through warrior one, right and left. If you add something on, be your own guest. The most important part of the practice is connecting body and breath, inhaling and exhaling. We'll meet back and down dog. Lengthen the spine, crease the knees. Notice, take a little diagnostic how much has shifted and changed already just a few moments into class on your next inhale float and reach the right leg long exhale sweep the right foot all the way in between your hands peel the back heel down inhale into your warrior one exhale right arm forward left arm back warrior two so sit low separate the feet a little bit wider bringing in the opportunity to open the hips Feel the shoulders scaffold over the hip. Reach your arms super wide. Good. Check that the right knee is directly over the right ankle. Good. Yes, now you're drawing the knee a little bit more to the right. Good. Sit low. Feel the heart rise. Think of peeling left hip away from inner right heel. That was beautiful. Let your shoulder cap soften, shoulder heads draw down towards sit point. Tuck the low belly and engage your arms, spread your fingers wide. Look over your front fingertips. And see the lungs, soften the gaze or close the eyes, taking a beautiful big inhale, reach wide, exhale, spin the hands down. Cartwheel your hands down, step your right foot back, 
and flow, high to low, up to down. Nice, Corinne. Exhale, perhaps with an Ichi Hara. Hmm, down dog. On our next inhale, float and reach the left leg long. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Carve out the belly. Step your foot all the way in between your hands. Use the hand on the ankle if you need to. Dial the back heel down. Inhale, both arms up. Warrior one. Exhale, slice the sky. Warrior two. Left arm forward, right arm back. Sit nice and low. Reach wide. Your back foot is now parallel to the short edge of the mat. So turn your right toes more to the right. That's it. That was nice, Rebecca. Sit low. Reach wide. Heels pull in towards one another. So the front foot could be in the middle of the back arch or heel to heel. This is something for you to investigate. Deep breaths. Find the elements of your warrior two present and available. Heart rising. Good. The warriors are aware of what's above, below, side to side, within. Good. And that which is not seen, feel for all the unseen elements. Sit a little lower. Feel the ribs lift up into the buoyancy of the heart. Drain the lungs. Taking a lovely full breath into the strong legs. Opening arms, hips. Beginning to expand and exhale. Cartwheel your hands down. Bring your left leg back and flow high to low, up to down. My sound okay, Wendy? Can you hear me? You good? Okay, good. And keep moving. One breath, one movement. Warrior one, warrior two. Move at your own pace. Find the rhythm. That was beautiful using the hand on the ankle just as the arms rise up. Open up, warrior two. Step a little wider. Check your back foot. Keep the knee directly over the ankle. There we go. And keep moving. Each breath, moving the body into alignment as you find each breath. Find your focus and intention. Vibrational breath can help us stay focused, assist you in all the shapes. When we meet back in down dog, you can pedal it out a little bit, take a vibrational breath, clean it up. Cleaning it up is checking the hands a little more grippy, the spine lengthening. Could I draw the underarms in a little more to just give my heart an energetic hug and expand across the back of the heart space along the shoulder girdle? And then empty, empty lungs. If you're still moving, you're in the perfect, perfect place for you. Take in a deep, full inhale. And exhale, let it go. Soften your knees, relax your neck. Take a step to the front of your mat. Maybe a jump forward if you're warmed up. Inhale, halfway lift, chin a wee back flattened. And exhale, release. Check your feet are still hips with distance. You can use the measure. Beautiful, there we go. Inhale, hips down, arms up, chair pose. So sit low, reach long, think shins back in space. Weight towards the heels, knit the low ribs. In towards one another, almost like you have one of the puffer vests on, yeah. Reach your arms up, arm shoulder with distance. Turn the pinkies in so that the shoulders roll back, roll back and down towards your sit points, yeah. And then notice sit points looking for the back of your mat, the navel's in, deep, full breath as you inhale and exhale. Beautiful. One more breath. Find the challenge and exhale. Dive release. Shake it off. Flutter your lips a little bit. Sway a little side to side. Me too, Kate. Yeah, I love that. Wake up your meridians a little bit there. Good. So from here, second chair. Inhale. Hips down. Arms up. Chair pose. 
So as you sit into your second chair pose, notice where's your focus. If this is not a shape you enjoy, could you bring some enlivenness here? Maybe find a way where you can challenge yourself. Sometimes it's not only in the low seat, but perhaps reaching the arms up a little more and softening the seat. Feel the inner thighs shaking quick. Good, yes, active glutes. Draw the weight further back in the heels. Feel the shins come back a little more. Lengthen your spine. Close the eyes, if you will. That's just an invitation. Feel for the elements of the chair, the awkwardness, the enlivenment, the fierceness. One more breath, sit low, reach long. Exhale, dive, release. Let it go. Beautiful, three's a charm. Here we go, inhale, hips down, arms up, chair pose. Last chair. What elements can you bring into the practice right now? A little fortitude, a little motivation. Perhaps bring into your consciousness what brought you here. Good. Where would you like a little bit more kind of oomph in your life? Let's find it in the chair, bring it into your life. Navel in because it's happening right here. Don't miss a thing. It's all right here. Two more breaths. Bring the intention where you need it. Yeah, maybe sit points back a little bit more. Dinar, yeah. And then exhale, dive, release. I know that's Ninar, sorry, I put a D in there. Your nickname, your yoga nickname. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Hands down, step back. Find your flow, high to low, up to down. Exhale, H-A, ha, down dog. Maybe it's an mm, or a flutter of the lips. On your next inhale, float and reach the right leg long. Find extension, stretch the leg. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Step your foot all the way in between your hands. Peel the back heel down. Rise up into your warrior one. Expand into your warrior two. Right arm forward, left arm back. Step the feet further apart, sit a little lower, reach a little wider. Feel your heart rise, feel the buoyancy of the upper body. Stability, grounded lower body. They both meet along the hip. Flip your right palm. Inhale, reach forward, right arm forward. Lift the right arm up, left hand down the back leg, above or below the knee for stability. So as you're reaching down the back leg, notice landing below the knee or above, never on the knee, crease or kneecap. That's a joint, we wanna be careful there. Check that your right knee stays directly over the ankle. If you're reaching around the torso back, enough room to grasp the inner right thigh. Good, so sit low, right side body engages and opens. Left side body, no crunching, Supporting right side opening. Turn the right pinky in so that the right shoulder draws back and down. Sit low. Inhale. Reach all the way back as far as you can. And exhale. Cartwheel your hands down. Step your leg back. Flow high to low, up to down. Exhale with a sigh or hum, down dog. On your next inhale, float and reach the left leg long. Exhale, step the left foot all the way in between your hands. Feel the back heel down. Inhale into your warrior one. First, open into warrior two. Left arm forward, right arm back. Step the feet further away from one another. Good. That's it. Bend the front leg. Peel the right hip away from inner left heel, just a tiny bit if you can, Jeff. Good, there we go. Feel the hips begin to open. The shoulder caps off and the shoulder heads draw down towards the sit point. You can check that your right arm is the same height as your left. And let's, that was beautiful. Look over left fingertips, flip the left palm. Everyone inhale, reach forward. 
Reverse warrior, left arm up, right hand down the back leg, above or below the knee for stability. Very often, it's nice to just check before wrapping. Could you reach down the leg? Yes. Feel left side body begin to open. Check that the front leg, yes, bend it a little more, Corinne. Send the left knee forward, there we go. Yeah, breathe into it. Now you could maybe try wrapping the hand around. You'll notice if you can press away and engage the left side a little more, turn left pinky in. Let the shoulder drop back and down, keeping the joint in the socket. Good, reach all the way up and long. Sit a little lower, encourage the stretch along the intercostal muscles, interior and exterior, reach up and back, and exhale, both hands down. Step your left foot back, and find your glide. Glide through, warrior one, warrior two, reverse warrior. And as you come through, each breath has one movement and each movement has one breath. Notice if the brain fights this. We encourage you designing your own practice. The one breath, one movements are particularly chosen at these points to allow your body to systematically open. Let the feelings run through the body. Let the thoughts Come and go. Focus on your breath. Beautiful breath. Almost as if you're gliding down a river. See if your body could feel like a leaf on a river or just a, a leaf in the wind, just blowing gently. How good could you make this feel? If you're someone who's feeling the challenge today, where can you kind of bring in those pockets of challenge and moments of release connecting? We'll come back into down dog. Maybe you've chosen the child's pose for a few breaths. Use that as a way to connect rather than drop out. And all together, let's empty, empty lungs. If you're still moving, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Take in a nice full inhale, lengthen the spine, hold it. Exhale, let it go. H-A-Ha or hmm or dragon's breath. On your next inhale, float and reach the right leg long. Extend the right leg. Lift up as high as you can. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Step your foot all the way in between your hands. Heel is at the heel of your palm. Swivel the back heel down. Inhale, hands back by the hips. Palms face down, powerful lunge. Roll the shoulders back and down. Spread your fingers wide. Reach your arms like you mean it, like you are an amazing superhero because you are. Deep, full breath. Let's bring the hands together. Interlock your fingers. Start to draw the knuckles to the back of your mat. You can roll the shoulders back a little bit. Sometimes picking the chin up feels good. Sometimes picking the chin up is more of a like not really. So then keep the chin neutral, crown of head rising. There we go. One more inhale to draw the arms long. And release your arms forward, extended powerful lunge. Reach forward, turn the pinkies in. Arms are about shoulder width distance. Maybe even a little wider for accessibility. Draw the torso up off the front thigh if you can. Just a little lift there. Feel the stretch from your back heel all the way up through the crown of your head. Big, beautiful breath. On your next inhale, rise up into your warrior one. Exhale, burst open into warrior two. Left arm forward, right arm back. Step your feet wider, nice Kate. Sit a little lower. Check if your torso's in the center of the handlebars of the hip. Good. The hips may not be totally square, but as you open, this can facilitate the hips opening a little more, checking the torso, good. From here, inhale, reach forward, Le uh, right hand down, left arm up, side angle. Left hand down to the mat, tempt the fingertips, you can use a block. The, Hand flat, if you will. Use the 
Right tricep to press the right knee back just a tiny bit. Left arm reaching up, deep, full breaths as you inhale and exhale. Beautiful breath. You could bring the forearm to the top of the thigh, but don't lean too much on the thigh. It's almost like a landmark. Beautiful. Inhale, reach up, exhale, left bicep over the ear, reach towards the front of your mat. Hug your low belly in. This is core strengthening. Reach long from the outer edge of your back, left heel all the way up. Iron out the elbow just a tiny bit. Good. On your neck, exhale, bring right arm up to meet left core strengthener. Reach long. Really nice, Jessica. Let's begin to move the dome of the ribs. Roll the right ribs under. Shine your heart up towards the sky like you're holding a giant beach ball. Flash your heart up towards the sky. One more, inhale and exhale. Left hand comes down, right arm up. You can reposition the back foot. Press the heel down, maybe stepping the foot a little bit forward and out, right arm up. You can always come down on the back, left knee. As you reach up, feel the swivel through the hips, the waistband. Press the left hand down, right arm all the way up. Nice, beautiful twist, revolving the side angle. One more time, reach, 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 and release. Take your right hand, snake it around the inside of your front ankle, right ankle. Right hand from the inside. Mm -hmm. Yes, Claire, you got it, that was good. So tuck the chin. You can come up off the back knee if you were down on it, or you can stay down on the back knee. Take a few breaths. Start to draw the head underneath the front thigh. Beautiful. Use your power, both hands on the ankle. Pull. One more time, pull and pull and pull. And release, come back into side angle, right hand next to right foot, left arm up. Style the back heel down, come up off the back knee. Beautiful. So here we just explore our bind. Left hand can reach around the back, stay in half bind, or get adventurous. Right hand underneath the thigh, maybe reach for the full bind. You can air bind. Good. That was a really, really nice challenge. Nice, Gloria. Keep breathing. Goya? I think I'm saying it wrong. Roll left shoulder. I got it. Left shoulder up towards the sky. Good, nice deal, nice. Beautiful, Anna, one more breath. Good, Grace, and release. Both hands down, step your right foot back. Slow, high to low, up to down. Exhale with a sigh or hum down dog. Nice release there. Good, everybody in down dog. Let's empty, empty lungs. Taking a deep, full inhale. Exhale, H-A. <sighs> inhale the left leg long. Reach, extend the left leg. Lift it up at as high as you can. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Step your left foot all the way in between your hands. Swivel the back heel down. Pause for a moment. Big breath. On your next inhale, hands back by the hips. Palms face down, powerful lunge. Roll the shoulders back. Let the heart rise. Nice, Wendy. Check, left knee directly over left ankle. Spread your fingers wide. Feel this stretch from your back heel all the way up through the crown of your head, the ascending diagonal. Interlock your fingers. Pull the knuckles towards the back of the mat. Good. Torso can slightly come forward, Sylvie, just a little bit more like a diagonal. Good, yes. Hug your belly in, beautiful. Deep breathing. Keep the left knee closer to the left pinky toe. One more breath. Pull the knuckles, stretch through the shoulders. Lift the heart and release. Send the arms forward, lengthen long, powerful lunge. Extended, powerful lunge. Feel all the sensations from the back heel all the way up through the fingertips. Harness your breath. This is your power, inhaling, exhaling. Feel the heat in the solar plexus. Harness your inner power. Beautiful, on your next inhale, rise up, warrior one. Stay in the lunge, exhale, warrior two. 
Left arm forward, right arm back. Sit nice and low. Reach wide. Big breath. You got this, Hannah. No worries. Yeah, me too. Yes. Big, beautiful breaths. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Side angle. So again, plant the hand. Maybe it's the fingertips. The forearm can be on the thigh. Again, more like a landmark. Not like you're leaning. Yes, that was beautiful. Stay engaged through the torso. Reaching your right arm up, chin to the right shoulder. Beautiful full body breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right bicep over the ear. Look past your bicep. Feel the opening through both side bodies. Your torso's engaged. Inhaling, exhaling. Look up towards your right fingertips over the bicep. Yeah. That's it. On your next breath, lift. Left arm up to meet right. Like you're holding the gigantic box for a beach bowl. Wrap the left ribs under. Good. Shift the dome of the ribs. Left ribs under, right ribs up. Shine your heart skyward. One more time. Inhale, roll the ribs. And exhale, right hand down. Left arm up. Revolve your side angle. You can step the back foot out and up. You can come down on the knee. Very often, stepping the foot out and shortening the stance can alleviate any kind of wanting to bring the knee down. If you bring the knee down, no worries. More on the thigh rather than the kneecap. Right hand is down, left arm is up. Beautiful breath. One more time. Press away with your bottom arm. Reach up with the top arm. Reach, reach. Left hand down. Good, thread it around the inside of the ankle. Grip the ankle with both hands. Let your head be heavy. Start to pull your head underneath your front thigh. Let your hips be high, the head low. Beautiful, beautiful breath. This sends the breath along the back of the hip. Jing energy, life force energy along the back body of your hip. Pull, both hands on the ankle. You can have the knee down and do more of a snuggle. You'll still feel the stretch. Adil, bring your left hand on the inside of your foot, your left arm inside, the other left arm, your other left. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Head down. Good. Now pull. Feel that? That's it. Feel it along your back body. One more breath. Pull, pull, pull and release so we're going to move back into side angle come off off the back knee pull the back heel down left hand down right arm up good deep breaths here we go exploration right hand around the back for the bind so side to side can be different maybe this side half bind perhaps you sneak left hand underneath beautiful reach for fingertips nice Roll the right shoulder up and back if you have fingertips. Beautiful. Stay in the lunge. That was a nice self-correct way. Now one more time. Air binds look good too. Half binds are amazing. Roll the right shoulder up towards the sky and release. Both hands down. Step your foot back. Slow it out. High to low. Up to down. Exhale with the sire or hum. Let's try one together. Empty, empty lungs. Taking a deep, full inhale. Exhale, let it go. Soften your knees, relax your neck. Come to the top of your mat. At the top of your mat, inhale, halfway lift. Chin away, back flatten. Calibrate the spine and exhale, release. So this time, toe heel your feet in towards one another. Big toes touch. For many, the heels will touch. For many, the heels won't touch. Toes touch, knees touch. Inhale, hips down, arms up, palms press, thunderbolt. So take a few breaths. Reach the arms nice and long so your arms straighten. Where your arms are will be different on every person. For many, Biceps next to ear flaps. For many, creases of the lips, your smile lines. For many, even across your cheekbones. 
but stretch long. For some of us, just right where your chin is. Yes. Deep breaths. Everybody sit a little lower. Engage the navel. Beautiful. Squeeze your legs. Active glutes. Weight towards heels. Arms rising. Deep, full breath. Feel all the sensation one more time, just like a thunderbolt. Very exciting. And exhale, dive release. Shake it off. We enliven the adductors, the seams of the leg, your heart space, all the energy vortexes along your spine. That is an epic shape. Let's do it again. Feet together. Inhale, hips down, arms up, palms press, thunderbolt. Awesome. Squeeze your knees. Engage your quad. Feel the adductors wrap down and in. Exhale, hands to heart center. Elbows wide. Press your palms. The heels of your palms. One line out through the elbows. Inhale, the upper body lift. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. So as we come into the twist, feel this in your body. Bring your hips below your navel. Good, keep your hands at heart center. Eventually, shoulders are stacking. Good, sit a little lower. If you will, left hand down, right arm up, you could fly. If it feels as if you've lost stability along your hips and your hips are twisting, come back to heart center. From your fly, you could move on to your bind. Right hand around the back, left hand underneath. Beautiful, nice positions, everyone. Take one more breath, enliven the twist, and release. Let's come back to center. Inhale, upper body lift. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Strong moment. Yeah, that's okay. Nice work. Beautiful, Quinn. Hips below your navel, head above your heart. Create the ascending diagonal through your torso and spine. Squeeze your knees. If one knee pops forward, draw the hip of the knee that's jagged forward back. They may not be totally level, but they'll be close to it. From here, hands at heart center or fly. From your fly. Choice is predicated on how this feels in the body, maybe the wrap, left hand around, right hand underneath, even trying. Good, beautiful choices. One more breath. Roll the heart up towards the sky, shine your heart skyward and release. Let's come back to center. Inhale, upper body lift, exhale, dive, release. Inhale, halfway lift, chin away back, flatten. And release, hands down, step it back. Flow, high to low, up to down. Exhale, vibrational breath down dog. One more little hip opener, and then we're going to slow it down into a hip opener. Inhale, the right leg long. Stretch the leg. Exhale. Knee towards the nose. Carve out the belly. Step your foot all the way in between your hands. Pause. Check that your feet are hips west. Look at your back toes, maybe heel toe them a little bit more left. Maybe it's your front foot, a little more right. Inhale, glide your arms up into your high lunge, crescent lunge. So the eyes of the hips face forward. Reach the arms up. Nice, Justin. Your arms can be a little wider than shoulder width. Good, turn the pinky slightly in, just rolls the shoulders back and down. Commit to front lunge. Again, support with back heel lifted above the toes. Engage the left quad. Beautiful. Hips face forward. Exhale, hands to heart center. And again, press the palms. Heels and palms together. Elbows wide. One line. Inhale, upper body lift. Exhale, swivel. Left elbow, right knee. As we come into the twist, Look over the right shoulder. And again, here are choices. You can come down on the back knee if that's something that is happening. You can bring your left hand down, right arm up, flying. You could stay flying. You could move into the bind, wrapping. Right hand around your back, left hand underneath. Good work, nice trying. I love that, Anna. No, that was perfect. Good, nice, Grace. One more breath. 
and release. Come back to center. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, hands down. Step it back. Slow down. High to low, up to down. It's a great time to check in. Stay tethered to your breath. Good. Empty, empty lungs. Taking a beautiful inhale. Exhale, H-A. <sighs> inhale, the left leg long. Reach, extend the left leg. Exhale, knee towards the nose. Carve out the belly. Step your foot all the way in between your hands. Check. Back foot. Hip swift. Inhale, glide the arms up, rise up. So the hips face forward. Eyes of the hips forward. Good. Rise the arms up. Spread the fingers wide. Sit a little lower in the lunge just to engage a little more. Left knee forward. And you can always check your front knee is closer to your pinky piggy toe. Yes. Sit low. Heel. Back heels lifted above the toes, stretching the arches. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, the upper body lift. Exhale, right elbow lessening. So move into your twist. Choices. There can be a fly or a bind. The hands can stay at heart center. Where is the point you can stay the most connected in your breath? If the back knee is down, it's more on the top of the knee thigh. Beautiful. Last few moments. One more breath. And let's release. Come back to center. Inhale, both arms up. Rise up, reach up. Exhale, hands catch the mat. Step back and flow. High to low, up to down. Exhale, H-A-H-A-R. Hmm. Inhale, the right leg long. Reach and extend. Let the hip roll open just a tiny bit. And then bring the right knee out past your right hip. The foot's on the left side of your mat for half pigeon. Snuggle the knee out behind the right wrist. Good. Square your hips off. Notice, check your back leg is long, mirroring the long edge of your mat. So it's not on a diagonal, it's straight back behind you to support you, open up the hip. Inhale, lift through the heart space. Exhale, bow forward, good. Forehead comes down, support your forehead. Take deep, full breaths as you inhale and exhale. One of the longer holds. Some classes will hold this for a few moments. Other classes, maybe even a minute or so. Ride the waves of your breath. Try a few vibrational breaths here. Let your shoulders soften. Check that your forehead is supported. There we go. And then in an effort of encouragement, maybe arms or elbows a little more forward. Good. Like the heart seeking the earth as if it was a crystal wanting to go back to its home or get recharged. I often feel as if my heart space is recharging here, releasing any pockets or little places in the heart space. For something new, empty the lungs. How does it feel for you? Inhale, big, big breath. Exhale, HM. Slowly begin to press your hands away. Walk them back towards your hips, your torso, lift up. Good, tuck your back toes, press your hands down. Press back up into your down dog. You can lift the right leg up for a little stretch. And let's come through our flow. Upper push up to lower, up dog to down. A beautiful vibrational breath.
Empty, empty lungs. Taking a deep, full inhale. And exhale, H A. <sighs> inhale the left leg long. Lengthen the leg. Let the hip roll open. Bring the left knee out past the left hip. The left foot's on the right side of the mat. Lengthen your right leg. Square the hip. Inhale, lift up through the heart space. Exhale, fold forward. Bring the breastbone down. Support the forehead. You can stack the palms, making little pillow fists. Big breath. In this quiet, can you check in? Sometimes the pigeon is the more challenging of the poses, not the chair or the flowing. We have the opportunity to check in with the breath and see a new view. Yeah. Drain the lungs. Taking a deep, full breath. So empty the lungs. Inhale. Fill your lungs. Feel the back body. The shoulder girdle fill as well. And exhale. Let it go. <sighs> slowly, slowly. Walk your hands back towards your hips. Squaring hips. Good, and find your exit. Hands down, flip the back toes, press up into down dog. And come into your farewell flow. Awesome. From here, draw the shoulders up over the wrist. Find your lovely plank. Good, in our plank position, this can be a challenge as well. Resist the earth, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, eight, seven, six, tuck the elbows. Make it really slow, almost like we did those push-ups, but I know we did it. And bring the torso down, walk your hands forward. I see a few smiles, maybe people are happy we didn't do them, but we can, we'll catch them later today. Chin center, walk your hands forward. Thumbs up towards the sky. Palms face one another. Yeah, just to enliven the entire body. Feel how strong you are. Inhale, arms up, legs up, ribs up, thighs up. Lift up. Good. Lift your heart space up. Lift your legs up. Bring your arms out to the side like airplane wings. Yeah, porno salabasana. This is full locus. Pick the chin up. Now bring your arms behind you. Clasp the fingertips like you did in your power lunge. Pull the knuckles. Roll the chin up towards the sky. Lift the heart and release. Bring your arms back out to the side. Lift up, ribs up, thighs up, arms up. Reach your arms forward. Superhuman power and release. Woo. Good. Bring an ear to the mat. Hands back by the hip. Feel the new view of your heart. Flip your other ear on the mat. Notice there. Side to side can feel so different. From here, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press away. Let's lift all the way up. Stand on your knees. As you stand on your knees for camel, we'll bring a little heart opener into our closing. So check that your knees are about hip twist distance, two fifths in between your knees can help. Good. Then from here, bring your hands to the low spine. Good, fingers face down, thumbs on the outside. 
Tuck the elbows in, lift the heart up, look up. So as you look up, press your hips forward. Pause here. This is a beautiful camel shape. If you can see a back wall or you have a green light feeling, like no pausing feeling, the throat is open, you could reach back for your heels. Hold the heels, lift the heart up through the gates of the shoulders, press your thighs forward, inner thighs pull in, hips forward, heart lift, and release, hands low spine, sit hips on heels, take a sweet little moment in your hero's pose, feel the heartbeat, the lungs pump, everything comes together, hands someplace special, maybe heart center, maybe tops of thighs. Good. Keep the neck spine long, slight tuck of the chin. Empty the lungs. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale, H-A. Stay in the moment. Start to draw the legs out in front of you. Good. As you draw the legs in front of you, bend the knees, feet flat. Reach your arms forward. Lengthen the spine and exhale, lower. We're gonna lower all the way back down. Bring whatever got revealed in your camel all the way down to your Shavasana. Good, lay back, hug your knees into the chest. Sway a little right and left. Good, draw the soles of the feet together. Let the knees butterfly wide. Good, supai, butterfly, down butterfly. Lay back, neck spine long. Good, draw the feet together. Pull them all the way up towards your heart seat. Knees widen. And exhale, open up, happy baby. Wow. And you can breathe like a happy baby. Stick the tongue out, lion dragon baby. Try the motorboat baby. And then from here, legs long, come into your final Shavasana. In final Shavasana, let the body be heavy. Feel the bones heavy. Let everything go. Have an amazing, fabulous day. Rest here as long as you need to. I'll have a couple of notes in the chat box. Come back soon. Listen for the divine music inside. Rumi says there's a breath that takes us all the way to infinity. I hope you find that breath more often and connect. Breathe deeply, feel fully. Empty, empty lungs. Take in a nice full inhale. And exhale, H-A. And start to wiggle your toes, your hands. Good. You can roll on to right or left side. Begin to press away. Have an amazing, fabulous, fabulous day.